Hello, beautiful people of the world, and welcome to another podcast here of Content Breaker. I am your host, Static Dreads, joined with the amazing, strangely entertaining. How hey. are you doing today? I'm doing okay. That's good. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> as okay as I can be. Nowadays, all I ask for people to be is okay, to be honest with you. It's like, I don't need much. I just need you to be okay. And we can we can get better from okay. So, um, not okay is not okay. We need okay. But you know what's better than okay? This anime? Upcoming, yes, oh. <laughs> this upcoming season of anime. Um, all anime is better than okay. But this upcoming season is really... Um, Really something I feel like we've got going on. We've got a healthy mixture of genres. We've got a healthy mixture of, um, you know, hitters and non-hitters, returning originals. Like, there's something there for everybody. And as we go through this season, we also have some continuing things. Like, you know, um, One Piece. And One Piece might be the only continuing season thing that I think about it. Because... Slime and My Hero have done their two cores. Um, but way to, way to take us through, you know. Shout out to Slime and shout out to My Hero for, like, kind of just being super good the past two cores. Like, taking us through spring and summer. Like, even, I appreciate even that. If a slime was a bunch of meetings and drove everybody crazy. <laughs> yeah. Slime is now that time I got reincarnated as a meeting. I don't care what anybody tells me. <laughs> Like, I think it is funny because people are always like, oh, they left this out, but then they included every meeting. <laughs> they needed to. Like, yeah. It was super important. I just, I... It's like, here's important stuff that you probably needed, but instead, here's a meeting that you probably needed no context on. I'm just like, oh my gosh. I'm just like, why? Why? I'm, it'll make sense later, like, when everything's so... I understand what they're doing. They're making everything so nuanced. They're putting all that information out there. So you can, like, just basically see how broken Rumor is in the future, which, it makes sense. I'm just like... Come on now. Come on now. Like, I forgot that we forgot... Oh, wow. I forgot that we fought Shizu at the beginning of, like... Of the season. That but was, anyway. It was like three meetings, three or four, or something like that. And then the big fight fight happened for four or five episodes, three episodes maybe. I don't know. And then uh, more meetings. <laughs> yeah. And then the Are part we that also. Hit a time skip or anything? I, I don't know. I don't think there are any time skips in Slime because everything's so pivotal. Mm -hmm. I think there might be like a year time slip. Skip? Wow. It might be a year or something. Um, so maybe. Um, I don't know, to be honest with you. I really don't. Um, hmm. So what What do we have on this, on this season's docket here? What's going man, on? So, man, this season, we've got so much stuff. It is the fall season because the way seasons work in um yes it's always confused and, me but like it's kind of the same but not really because it's like a month off i guess but uh we are entering fall in the west we're also entering fall in the east so the only difference is like you know there is longer I, I don't know. Um, <laughs> I think, you know what? I'm not going to talk about it. <laughs> but anyway, we are entering the fall of the East, and that means a new season of anime. And this season is packed. You know, we've got the long awaited. I don't even know if it's a long awaited. I think Serialization started back in um, maybe 20, 2016. No, no, 2021. Okay, that's only been three years. But, um, the Don to Don is finally here, which is a... I can't even explain it. I would say, like, science, <laughs> action, comedy, supernatural, horror, anime. Um, 
and just kind of watch it. Um, it's kind of crazy and kooky. When I saw the covers, I was like, yo. I mean, I've I wanna... heard good things about it. It's great. Let me tell you. So I read the first um, manga volume. I was like, okay, I'm waiting for this to be animated because this is just that crazy and bombastic. It gave me the same feel of kind of like um, early Jujutsu Kaisen of like, I don't really know what's happening, but I want to be here for the ride with everybody mm. else so i'm going to forgo reading the manga which i didn't stand true because i picked up jujitsu kaisen at the end and man <laughs> anyway <laughs> so <laughs> we're not gonna talk about that that ended but that's another podcast that's that's another podcast um but yeah dadan dadan which has been like already getting crazy acclaim like people calling it anime of the year based off the first episode it's super good um you and i haven't watched it yet because we have busy conflicting schedules so we're gonna watch it together um this weekend we're gonna sit here and watch it together and then you know well, the next time we do a podcast or we have something we'll chime in and be like yeah it's so good or whatever or you know check the social media to see if we post about it um plug which someone will post about it plug um, so it'll run our social media. Also plug. Anyway. Plug. So. <laughs> um, and then you have Blue Box, which is the complete opposite, but not opposite of it. Um, because it also has a strong female lead, such as the Don and Don. Um, and kind of a timid, shy male lead. But the only difference is this one's grounded in reality. There's no supernatural. It's just they go to a sports high school. Um, she's captain of the basketball team. He's in the cheerleaders. Anyway, it's a Taylor Swift song okay. reference. Yeah, that, I was like, yeah. <laughs> <Is> that... <laughs> but but no, he's not a cheerleader. Um, she is captain of the basketball team, and he's um on the badminton team, and he's like in love with this girl, and because of like just everything about her, her work ethic, like her determination, how she motivates him, and you know, classic cutesy. Japanese teen stuff. Um, well, then there's a twist at the end that even I didn't see coming. And I was like, wow. Like, this is going to be really good. Like, the twist at the end of episode one. I was like, this is going to be really good. So, I'm not going to tell you what that is. So, make you watch it. But, it was a fun twist. And I'm very, very much excited for it. Um, but, like, you know, there's just things that are coming off the list. Of course... Bleach, Thousand Year Blood War, The Conflict, Part 3. Um, you, you already know. Like, I don't even need to tell you about it. The Thousand Year Blood War has been absolutely amazing. The best of Bleach. People are like, it's second to the Soul Society. I'm like, no. This is ten times better than Soul Society. Like, get out I'm, of my I'm sure the animation alone is already making up for the fact that, you know, one, you waited so long for this. Two, it's, yeah, it's just probably... From from the small clips, I've like a barely even a minute, not even that, probably like less than thirty seconds of clips I've seen. It looks pretty interesting. Yeah, and I'm just like, this is so good, and I need you to catch up. I'm not rushing you. I'm just saying I need you. To Sounds catch like up. you're rushing, but you know, it's been three years. <laughs> it's been three long years. Irv hasn't watched it either, so I give him crap as well. (laughs) He's like, I'm waiting until it's all finished so I can binge it. And when it's all finished, he will binge it. He's like you in the Final Fantasy fourteen series. Or 7 series, which is also like me at this point, because I didn't play the second game. (laughs) Um, But anyway. So, of course, if you're under a rock, there's bleach. And then, like, if you're over a rock, but just don't know, Sword Art Online Alternative Gun Gale, the good one, apparently... Is back. <laughs> the good um, one. <laughs> like, listen, I'm not gonna lie. I watched half of the original Gun Gale, and I was like, man, there are so many things to watch because uh, the original Gun Gale came out, and man, when did it come out? The original Gun Gale came out, and it's, we have the technology we can look this up. Um, 2018. Yeah, what wow. else came out in 2018? Let's just let's just check, like quickly that's six because, years six years yeah. to wait for that that's crazy i did my waiting <laughs> six years of it. 
But yeah, in 2018, we had Attack of Titan Season 3, <laughs> Unhero Season 3, Bunny Girl, I Want to Eat Your Pancreas, Devil May Cry Baby, Violet oh, Evergarden, Darling. The first season of Slime. Darling in the Franks, but, your favorite. Yeah. <laughs> Ugh, Goblin Slayer, <laughs> Love is Hard, Sora Alicization, JoJo's Going to Win, Seven Daily Sins back when it was still good. Like, nobody. I Old mean, I'm not going to say nobody. Man. 2018, yeah. that's when I'm upset. I waited it's, this long for the next Overlord thing. Yeah, it's been a while. It has I been can't a while. believe it's back that far. Oh my gosh. I'm, I'm actually upset. Why did it take so long? Overlord. Man, a lot of, get on a lot it. Of hate. Come on, bro. Like, oh, here's a movie. No, I want food the next wars season. Are, oh, the train arc and Food Wars. Oh, so good. So good. I can't tell you how good that is. But, um, yeah, just like there was so much to watch. Yeah, here it is right here. And I got to like. Fairy Tale's the final season, too. Yeah, and Megalobox, bro. Like, nobody. No wonder was, I didn't watch it because I was citrus, like, too busy we had catching citrus. up on everything else. Yeah, we had Citrus, bro. The pinnacle of the lesbianist anime. I'm just kidding. Um,. But Bloomin' E was a superior citrus. I'll fight that. We were at a high school Disney hero. Like, listen, no, nobody, nobody, Dragon Ball Z, Broly. Okay, listen, listen, <laughs> listen. I don't blame you if you did not know about Gun Gale because it was under a rock, low key, where it belonged. It was buried under an avalanche, let's be honest. Yeah. I hear it's good. Um, I will attempt to go back and finish the first season so I can watch this one, but I'm going to be real with you. Probably not going to happen, <laughs> but we'll see. Um, is it wrong to pick up with the girls? <laughs> Don Machi season five. That's it. I said the Japanese wow. name. <laughs> <laughs> this man said Don Machi. <laughs> <laughs> but is it wrong to pick up girls in a dungeon season five? Which that's crazy. I five didn't. Seasons. There were the fact that season one to season two took probably like six to four years, and then they just spat out seasons after that is like so metal. Like I, I, I might love have that. to pick it up because I'm like, is it gonna finish? That's crazy. Yeah, they're gonna they have to watch. They announced they're gonna finish it. So. I mean, okay. I mean, it is my watch list. <laughs> yeah. Like, because it's um, part four, part two was last year. So they've been doing about one a year now. If you would load any list. Come on, don't do me like this. Okay. Um, yeah, so they've been doing what, about like one a year. And like, it's been, it's been a time. And. You know, I am, because June, and then three, oh yeah, so th between season three and four was about two years, and then that was a long hiatus, and then between, oh, it was only one year between two and three, and then how was the prequel between... Oh, yeah. Four years. Four years to get a season two. Wow. And then once we got a season two, we just started running. So, I'm okay with that. And it has been consistently produced by um, JC Staff, which we all feel some way about JC Staff. But they've gotten better. They've gotten better. So, I will say I will stand on that. And I know the past two seasons have been really good. So... And, like I said, they're finishing the story. That's so much to ask for an anime, sadly. It really but, is. But it's happening, and I'm so excited, and I couldn't Listen, be happy. The next step is to have a good ending. <laughs> a Which good ending. we will see. <laughs> uh, all right. ReZero? It looks like that's next. Yeah, so, man, ReZero... Season Zero three, is I thought like, I was on season five by now, but <laughs> well, each season is like twenty six episodes, so like we're basically on normal season five. Um, 
ReZero, man. It's like, I don't even know how to explain it. It's like a fever dream sometimes. Like, I hate it on ReZero, and I never watched it. Like, I hype hated it, which makes me feel like a douche canoe saying that now. Um, but I did sit back, and I did watch season one, and I was like, oh my goodness, this is like not at all what I expected it to be from the animation. But at the same time, like everything I expected it to be from the animation. <laughs> yeah, I think and, I think I started. I either watched the whole first episode or I started it or saw like a five minute clip or something. I can't remember. But then I got interrupted, and then <laughs> I either got interrupted or dragged away to do something else because I I don't know. It, it, there's no telling with me. I don't remember. This was like a while ago. I think start of the year. I was like, oh. Everyone talks about how good Rezo is. I should look at it. And I was like, I'm intrigued by the premise so far, like the first five minutes. And you never went back? I just haven't gone back to it. No. <laughs> I was like, I'm intrigued. But I was like, I'm so busy. <laughs> There's stuff to do. <laughs> Listen, you gotta, you gotta go back. Okay? It's a fun, it's a fun watch. And it's like, Holy crap, is it good. Season 2 is, like, so good. Season 2 is literally, like, some of the best fiction I've watched. Is this season 2? Or not season 1. Um, yeah, season 2 is some of the best fiction I have watched. Like, it is, it is a story from start to finish. It is growth in like it is just so good and it was like what? the only thing I know is that he loves Amelia and that's the only thing because because when season one came out everyone died and started posting that everywhere it's like okay that's the one thing I know about. yeah it was wild I'm not gonna tell you the whole thing but um it was weird because like you know you're like best girl rim and they're like, no. And you're like, best girl Rim. And they're like, no, it's not. It's Amelia. And you're like, no, I know what I, I know what I said. But, um, yeah, it's uh, it's pretty, pretty interesting. Um, but yeah, no, I definitely am a proponent for ReZero. I feel like everybody should at least give it a try. It might not be for everybody, but it is really good. Once you get into it, like. Um, did you ever watch Vivi? I feel like you did. But, Vivi? Yeah. Remind me of what that is. Um, robot in the future who kind of has to like, kind of like singing Terminator. Like, has to go through. I don't think I've ever seen that. <laughs> I've never okay. seen a singing Terminator. Like, I'm just, <laughs> okay, it's probably a horrible depiction of it, but you would know if you've seen it, like. Like, you wouldn't know Vivi. Vivi Flux Right song. Mm. You wouldn't know Vivi. It's okay. It's okay. You don't have to know Vivi today. Do you know anything about Demon Lord Retry? I do not. Sh- okay, I don't know anything about it either. Um, I've heard of it. Like, it's a... I think it's part of a... Yeah, okay, so there was season one, did fairly... Oh, it's a second season. Okay, I definitely didn't know about that. Yeah. Um, Never heard of this one, but if you're into it, there you go. Second season, heck yeah. Yeah, some people had told me about it the first season, but I never really watched it. And yeah. Of course, I don't plan on watching it. A lot of people, if you're into horror... Uzumaki is out, yeah, and it's about spinning, and I'm just gonna leave it at that. And everything spins. Uh, it's about spirals, sir. Spirals, spinning spirals, doing spinning spirally things. It's probably very cute. If you don't know it, go watch it. And I'm sure it'll be cute. I uh, mean, I'm not gonna watch it. I'm just gonna leave it at that. Just for a certain reflex of things that I watch <laughs> that falls into it. I'm not watching it, and I'm leaving it at that. Yeah, Loner Life in Another World. Don't really know about that one. Three Six Five Days to Wedding. I Listen. think I. Someone did you say something about that one? 
Yeah, Laura okay. and I watched it, and oh. it was unexpectedly good. Like, I'm, sh- it's, I'm sure it looks, or it does look very wholesome. I'm sure it is very wholesome. It's an introvert's paradise, because, like, these two introverts have to pretend to be married so they don't get shipped to Alaska, <laughs> because Japan. <laughs> yeah, and, uh, huh, to Alaska. And, and one's just like, I can't leave my cat. The male's like, I can't leave my cat, and everybody makes fun of him. Because, like, they're like, really, a cat? Like, how would you say that? Ha, ha, ha. You're not leaving over your cat? And then, like, there's a scene where they're like, you're really not leaving? Like, the girl's like, you're really not leaving over a cat? He's like, it may seem like it's just a cat, but, you know, I found this cat alone and scared, and it slowly showed me his tail and trusted me. And now, like, we eat lunch together, and da 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 And it's just like, bro, I was like, bro, they got to be crying over a cat. I was like, that's what it's like. I was like, that's actually kind of heartfelt. I was like, he's like, he's like, I can't betray this cat's trust after it finally found someone to love it. I was like, oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. (laughs) I was like, this is so good. And then, of course, you know who's voicing the female your Strange. girl. You already know who it is. <laughs> You're already Iron Man. And I'm just like, you already know. You had me at that. Like, you had me. So, Nobu Chan, Rachel. Ryu, you know, <laughs> shut up. Man, everybody gets one. Everybody gets one. Everybody gets one. I still. The biggest one I've ever seen. <laughs> I it is. I hope, man, if we ever meet in person, I'm be like, you don't gotta take every road, girl. Like, <laughs> you don't gotta take every road that you see. Like, just just say no sometimes. <laughs> but like, no, this is really good. Like, and um, Rika, the main character or the main female character, like, is like really just oblivious, adorable. Like, she comes off as a you know a stone face as the people say but replace that with a b word yeah um but it's not because like you know she is it's just because like she like doesn't know how to interact with people because she's been like alone most of her life and like you know but like in secret she's like this super weird girl who loves atlases and everything and she's like i can't move to alaska because it's like super cold and i don't have the clothes and like all this so she goes up to the dude and she's like will you marry me and she's like i'll take care of everything and blah, blah. it's just a really good episode you should watch it i don't want to spoil it for you but it like it had me hooked and i was like oh wow i'll have to i'll have to take a look i'll put it on my watch list you know i'll do it right now I'll yeah go, i'll go to crunchyroll is that where it's at yeah or uh, it is so maybe Crunchyroll, yeah, that's right. Uh-huh. Yep, it's on Crunchyroll. Yeah, that's All why right. I watched it. Crunchyroll. I got a bookmark. Yeah. All right, let's move on to the next one. Uh, Actually, Goodbye Dragon Life. I did watch the first episode only because the premise <laughs> intrigued me. Like, yeah. and when I say intrigued, I mean I'm wondering where the heck this is going to go. Because <laughs> what? Um, It's about a dragon, and he gets killed. Seemingly for no purpose. Basically, somebody just came to slay him with like a team, and he's like, oh, "I've never like harmed humans. I never did anything to humans, but this human's killing me. Like, you know, like I've actually protected humans at times, but it's like, you know what? I've lived long enough." And he was satisfied. But then he woke up as a human, and so <laughs> he's always like reborn, reincarnated as a human. I, I believe he's in the same world, so it's like not a isekai. It's like a diet isekai almost. <laughs> it's like, diet okay. isekai. Because it's like, he he just wakes up and, and like, oh, I'm a human. So he's been living life in this village and um, he goes out. You know, this is like the first episode, so it's not like super spoilers, but he just goes out and he uh, goes to check on a problem. And then there he meets... Uh, a Lamia girl, and then uh, trouble ensues from there. It it's not as fascinating as like it, it's not probably going to be a banger, but I am waiting to see where it goes because he could still use like dragon magic and stuff, and he still has like the life force of a dragon kind of thing. 
Uh, I don't know. It. I'm not selling it very well, only because I don't want to sell it very well, because I don't know how good it's actually going to be, if it's going to be any good yeah. at all. So... <laughs> I mean, it looks interesting. I'll probably give it a watch. Just I'll, pr- off the I'll probably experience. label it as my like one trash anime I'm going to watch this season. So, <laughs> it's, yeah. it's going to be like Spider. I'm like, ah, oh, yeah, I'll just pick one. And I just like, yeah, I'll watch this one. It seems slightly interesting. Yeah, no, it does seem really interesting. I'm not going to lie to you. It's all like, huh. Okay, I'm going to try to answer Dragon. Like, does anyone believe him? Or is it like oh, he a... hasn't told anybody. He does. Okay. Nobody else knows. He only knows. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. Um, I don't know what negative positive anger is. It is a show. I feel like we don't need to necessarily worry about. I'm just kidding. Oh. <laughs> um, but negative positive angler story centers on. Oh my god. Oh, ang- <sighs> angler. <laughs> I yeah. thought I said eight girl. I was like, okay. <laughs> uh, the story focuses on Sakaki, a university student with a large debt, and is told by his doctor that he only has two years left to live. Living the rest of his days in depression, soon in a row, one day gets chased by a debt collector and falls into the sea. He is rescued by Hana, a girl who loves fishing, and her fishing friends include. Taki, uh, so it's another wholesome anime. I'm guessing. Yeah, you just kind of watch yeah. it for the vibes. Okay, I so said we do have about three ish minutes left. I need so to start three ish minutes left. <laughs> Let me edit it out. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, no, I, I'm, I'll probably watch that. Um, just because a studio nut. Okay, yeah, definitely watch. <laughs> um, and we have Hironi Kenshin. Um, oh, is Yoko's that what that service. is? Yeah. Oh. Which, um, you know, contra- I don't want to say controversial aside, because you got to address the controversy, but, like, not addressing the controversy. This is the Kyoto arc, one of the best arcs in Shonen, set the arc of Shonen. This should be a very high-watched season. We'll see how it goes. Okay. I... Watched the first part of her own intention. It was great as a remake. I'm very excited to see what this does. Because, like I said, this was the formula of a lot of modern day shonen. So, you got a lot to carry on your back for her own intention. I totally I forgot about it. that they were doing that. That is crazy to me. And that mech arm anime is finally back. Or What's finally fun? getting made. The mech arm anime. I remember seeing like a preview of it like 2014 or some, hmm. some however many years ago. Right next to it is, is literally the next thing. Oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It yeah. It's God, coming out, a, finally. Wow. Yeah. Probably won't watch it, but I'll, you I'll said try. probably won't watch it. <laughs> yeah. And then Blue Lock Season 2 aired, which Season 1 was kind of crazy. I got to finish it, but, um, you know, people love Season 2. Um, And really, there's a bunch of other stuff. Um, you should just check out on your own. There's, I've seen a lot of stuff from Let This Grieving Soul Retire. Um, you know, I've seen a lot of memes because there's a company. I've seen, uh, I became a villainous who goes down in history. I've seen some movies about that one. A Reincarnation of Aristocat is something that's a season two that a lot of people love season one. Um, tie the knot with an Amagiri sister or Abagami sister. Um, watch that at your own risk. I don't know what's gonna happen with that. <laughs> um, and then there was one. Um, oh god, there's another banished from Hero Party one. So the healer who was banished from his party. Playing something. And then Shangri La Frontier season two. Yeah, Shangri La season two. Um, for my people like Strange, who and I got. I mean, most people. I just gotta finish it. Um, oh, Alpharetta season two or season four at this point. I don't know, man. Season three. I'm excited. Like, that's one of my favorite, like, trash anime to watch is Alpharetta. It might be my favorite trash anime. Uh, Ranma one half is gonna, I feel like, do amazing. Uh, episode one aired, like, earlier today, so I need to watch that. 
Um, Spirit Chronicles season two. That also, um, season one or episode one airs in two days. I'll be watching that. And Dragon Ball Donmyo is one that has a lot of controversy around it, but a lot of people are going to sit and watch because it was um, the very late Akira Toriyama's project, and we're just gonna respect it and watch it and see what it has to take bring a to look the table. if it's too like. Uh... <laughs> It's too wide. We'll take a peek. If I said if it's too, uh, <laughs> we'll yeah. we'll take yeah. a peek. Uh, there's no telling. Yeah. Uh, um. But yeah, if there's also a bunch of other anime. Blue Exorcist. Forgot yeah. about that one. Yeah, you choose the fiance. Have you ever watched in a books million between? You know, before the remodel. So between. Um, this is 20, too much anime. It's too yeah, much. Between 2015 and. The earlier part of 2022 or 2023, you would see this posted at the beginning of the manga section. The fiance. It was a fiance. Huh. Yeah, Interesting. No, yeah. No, I was finally getting an anime. So, yeah. But like I said, um, bound. Yeah, I don't even. I don't even know what this is, bro. This is Gavinate. Iki Masoshi, they've got light poles in their hands. I don't, I don't know. What like, does it mean? <laughs> I don't know. What What's really the meaning? Just... And then the One Piece fan letter is what a lot of people are trying to figure out what that means too. And I'm just what? I'm just like, oh, okay. watch the, I'll watch these things. I'll get around to them. Which, who knows? Like, oh, I know. Demon Lord twenty ninety nine. I forgot that was also a thing. That one's an isekai where the demon lord comes back into the future. I don't know. <laughs> it said, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Finally, a, a futuristic isekai instead of in fantasy setting. <laughs> sort of. I don't know. Uh, yeah. I actually wonder if that's even on Crunchyroll. roll. Demon Lord retries there. It's probably a uh, the other website I always forget. Uh, scroll down. What else we got? What else? Is, what else is coming out? Uh, nothing. Scroll down. Is that a movie? The Gundam thing. Um. Yes. Wait, no, it's the ONA. It's the one that looks real life. Oh. Working for Vengeance. The Seven Deadly Sins, Four Nights of the Apocalypse. Is that also getting another season this time? I believe so. I uh, guess they've just been pumping those out. I feel like they've been around every season. Man, this is too much. This is a packed fall for like... Those people who say, oh, I watch every anime, good luck. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> say. Oh, there's seven deadly sins. That's a film, I think. Oh, it's a film? Yeah, the seven deadly sins is so hard to keep up with between film and everything. I'm just like, come on, what are we doing? That's not hard to follow at all. Yeah. But yeah, there's so many anime that you can watch. Um, Go and find one and let us know which one it was. Let us know if we helped you discover a new old or like first anime, you know. Or Lord forbid, a laugh anime. But you know, <laughs> um, there's just so much stuff out there you can watch and do and explore. And uh, yeah, just thank you for listening to us and checking it all out. <laughs> what? No, I. Uh, you're just like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was just funny. Hmm. All right, it's going to wrap it up here for today's podcast episode. Let's, yeah, like he said before, let us know what things you're going to watch, what you're not going to watch, what you hate, what you love. And you could look for me, look for Strangely ENT on the Twitterverse. Where can they find you, Mr. Static Dreads? Uh, you can find me on the Twitterverse at Static Dreads with a Z because I'm cool. Or it's you can, cool. Yeah, or you can find me at 
Um, you know what? That's like what you can find me this Twitter. I'm like, where else? <laughs> and what? That's and you may, if you made it this far into the video, go ahead, like, and subscribe. Stick around. We'll do more stuff like this, and we got very fun episodes around the corner for you. So stay tuned. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Yeah.